What's wrong? Don't scare me, please. What's going on? I can't. <laughs> The feds are looking for Chris Jenner. When the feds raided Trump's houses, they found tapes with evidence of Chris Jenner being part of some criminal activity. Kim unfollowed Diddy 24 hours before that happened. She and Chris has close ties, but the FBI and law enforcement, they know something was going to happen. They know everything. So apparently, um, there is allegedly a secret video footage that has released um, of Chris Jenner and Diddy's house. You choose to sign with somebody as truly evil as Lou Taylor, unless you didn't have a choice. As I think that Kim Kardashian caught that moment of femininity and sexuality. She was the, she is the it girl of the, what we're talking about. She is the it girl. She is the moment. She was talking about sex and people uh, that that's what their show that's how it became popular it's who they were dating you know who they were sleeping with she's crying about her sex tape she's crying about this like she brought forth the sex culture so she is the the icon from the moment that we're talking about but i think we are actually moving away from it the handwriting of kim kardashian the three i'm holding it up right now the three sex tapes that her and her mother and him decided to choose between her mother was so involved did you hear him she was so involved in the details she wanted to pick which sex tape to release and then she went to her friends and she sat down with the honchos and she sold her daughter's body for fame. He sent out a warning shot, posting video of celebrities at Diddy's 50th birthday party. The Kardashians, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Kanye, Kevin Hart, every A-lister was there. Well, it puts him in a very difficult position because if he is ever charged, whether on the state side or federally, if he ever testifies, there's going to be limitations on whether he can actually do so without being confronted with things like this. So there's a lot of collateral impacts of this video, even if those particular acts are not being charged in the federal case. Now, this is a bit of a Stranger Things type of episode. As you guys know, P. Diddy's house just got raided. He's allegedly flown away. Well, at least his private jet has. Who knows if he's on it and it's going down when it comes to dick bro like it's going down well people notice something hmm it's a legend it's a legend calm down but check this out so somebody posted kim unfollowed diddy 24 hours before that happened she and chris has closed ties but the fbi and law enforcement they know something was gonna happen kim deleted diddy's follow she had severed her relationship with Chris 24 hours prior to that incident, but law enforcement officials at the FBI were aware of everything and knew something was going to happen. In an unexpected development, it appears that Chris Jenner's problems are getting worse faster than they were. According to reports, the IRS is pursuing Chris due to claims of tax evasion through her California community church. This might have detrimental effects on Chris and everyone connected to her. The IRS alleges that Chris has been trying to hide a sizable sum of money under the pretense of the church in order to avoid paying taxes for both herself and her children. If these accusations are confirmed, it could be disastrous for Chris and her family as a whole. The IRS has the authority to seize Chris's assets and bank accounts, which could be a severe blow to her finances. A mother sat down and decided to sell her daughter's body for fame and money and she was successful, right? But there are two two things here that we need to remember. Not only did she do it, not only should we be completely disgusted by the idea that a mother, I just had a daughter, that a mother would sit down and watch various tapes of her daughter having sex with a boyfriend out of wedlock, and then say, let's sell this tape. This is the best one. You look the best in this tape. This will make you the most famous. Not only is that disgusting, but then, that her plan worked. Kim Kardashian is a billionaire today. And she's, by the way, still selling sex. I, I now hold the opinion that Kim Kardashian is a prostitute. And I'm not going to edit this opinion. Kim Kardashian is a prostitute. Her mother is a pimp. Worse than a prostitute, Kim Kardashian is a corpse. She's a body without a soul. She is so emblematic of the society that we live in today. I now hold the opinion that Kim Kardashian is a prostitute. And I'm not going to edit this opinion. Kim Kardashian is a prostitute. Her mother is a pimp. Worse than a prostitute, Kim Kardashian is a corpse. 
this girl. So if you have not heard, Kim Kardashian allegedly had some videotapes and audio tapes that was actually recovered in the raid at P. Diddy's home. So no, it is not an exaggeration to say uh, that Hollywood is satanic because what could possibly be more satanic than that? What could possibly represent a more incestuous, if you will, relationship than a mother viewing her daughter's body having sex and selling it? This is where we're at. This is why we tell you not to follow the Hollywood type. This is why you should not allow your children to idolize Hollywood. This is why you should skip the Emmys and you should skip the Grammys and you should skip every other show because the people that are receiving these statues, this form of idolatry, I will do anything for the statue. I will do anything for fame. I will abort my child, I will sell my child. You tell me what I have to do. Some people may find it surprising that Chris founded her own church, but the Kardashian family has a long history of religious affiliation and is frequently seen praying on their shows and posting about it on social media. The main concern that many seem to have with Chris starting her own church is that there has been some speculation over the years regarding the authenticity of her having a church. Chris founded the California Community Church in 2009. It was formerly known as the Life Change Church. Brad Johnson, the lead pastor, is a family friend of the Kardashians. Forbes revealed that Kylie had lied about the value of her Kylie Cosmetics brand, and as a result, she lost her billionaire title. Kim, on the other hand, is still recognized as a billionaire, despite the perception that she doesn't behave like one. She was the subject of an SEC investigation last year after she promoted Ethereum Max without disclosing that it was a sponsored advertisement and that she had been paid to do so. She had also participated in a pump and dump scheme, which was designed to drive up the price of cryptocurrency before it was offered to investors, and she was fined $1.26 million. People have noted how strange it was. Insiders who are accused of aiding in the laundering of illicit funds assert that Kim regularly accompanied Jolo to gambling establishments in Kazuya. In 2009, Kim even claimed to have returned to Los Angeles with a trash bag containing $250,000 that Jolo had won from a Las Vegas casino. However, it has been revealed that this may have been a part of a larger money laundering scheme, as Jolo has been linked to such activities. The insider wrote that Lowe is being sought by international authorities in relation to a multi-billion dollar doll money laundering scheme. He is suspected of being the mastermind of a plot to embezzle $44.5 billion from the Malaysian Economic Development Fund, which is administered by the state. The FBI looked into this, 